सो हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट विथ मैथमेटिक्स ओके सो इन द टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द टू टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट इज द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट्स इट इज अ वेरी वेरी शॉर्ट टॉपिक एंड हैव अ लाइक लेस इम्पॉर्टेंस मेनली वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सेकेंड ऑर्डर डेरीवेटिव लाइक इन द कमिंग टाइम so in the last video we have seen about the derivative of parametric forms okay so today our topic is deter derivatives of determinants okay so let me give you some glimpses of how can you derive a determinant four examples are there in the book only four examples are there you have to understand those are very easy ones okay so if you have a del is equal to fx1 fx2 gx1 gx2 this is of second this is the second order determinant so how to differentiate it differentiating both the sides with respect to x this is del dash is equal to we differentiate row wise okay how do we differentiate we differentiate we are differentiating row wise okay so uh, this will be uh, what this is f1 x1 so f dash x1 f dash x2 these two will remain same plus keep this as as it is and in the plus side here keep these two as it is and now the second row this one g dash x1 and g dash x2 i have forgot to put the dash there so this will be what dash okay so uh thus to differentiate a determinant we differentiate one row or one column at a time keeping other row unchanged that means like if i am differentiating with respect to rows so this row uh, the first row this row will remain same and this is as it is the second row if we would if if we would have a uh, if we were having the third order determinant then three things that means the first row second row third row okay so like column wise also you can differentiate if you are doing column wise then these two will be differentiating first and in the second one this as it is then second column will be we will be differentiating so just see those examples you will understand that how they have differentiate they are very easy and you can understand okay there is no problem in it okay now let us come to the second order derivative which i was talking about uh, so if you uh, see the word that is second order derivatives that means what uh, like say for example i'm taking an example y is equal to f x y is equal to f x if i differentiate for the first time differentiating both the sides we'll get dy dx is equal to f dash x so we call uh, we say this uh, what do we say here that if a function f is differentiable at point x then its derivative f dash is called uh, this f dash is what differentiated one and we call this step as the first order derivative now if you further differentiate with respect to x that means this is already a differentiated one now if you again differentiate this so how it looks see if i again differentiate this dy dx so it becomes d2y dx square we call this as d2y d2y dx square or d square y dx square also you can call no problem and this will be f double dash x so this at this step you call it as second order derivative now if you further differentiate so this will become d3y upon dx cube and this will be f triple dash x this will be what your third and like that you can go up to n that is dnx upon dx to the power n is equal to fn x this is called the nth order derivative this you won't study now this you will see in your higher class the like more higher studies okay till now we will be going to we will be dealing with only the second order derivative but you should know this things okay okay now let us take the questions and start this topic okay this is the question 
and we need to find the second order derivative of the following function okay so second order derivative that is what uh, the second differentiation so uh, see how i'm denoting i'm denoting the first derivative as y dash or we can write dy dx also but why to write this much i'm writing i'm denoting so throughout the this uh, exa questions or maybe further also if y dash comes then you have to understand that this is the first order that is dy dx okay what will be the differentiation of log x minus 2 this is 1 upon x minus 2 and 0 minus 2 which is a 0 minus uh, 1 minus 0 which is nothing but 1 only now what will be y double dash first of all let us take this up so x minus 2 to the power minus 1 so x to the power n formula n x n minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 to the power minus 1 so minus 1 upon this is what minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 let us take that down so this is your final answer okay okay let us do this question if y is equal to cos inverse x then find d 2 y dx square in terms of y alone that means uh, as we find d 2 y dx square then at every value of x will put uh, cos y how cos y see y equal to cos inverse x so you, what will be your x x will be what cos y okay so at last we'll put x is equal to cos y first let us find d 2 y dx square so let us first differentiate this so y dash will be what minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square cos inverse x differentiation is minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square or let us take this up so it will be 1 minus x square to the power minus half because this is root square root and it will come up minus of half now double dash will be what y double dash minus of minus of half 1 minus x square to the power minus half minus 1 so uh, minus minus this becomes plus wait we need to go inside also function of function so 0 minus 2x okay how see minus half to the power uh, to the power minus half minus 1 and when we went inside so 0 minus 2x then what will be the next step this will be see this uh, 0 minus 2x is what 2x only okay and this 2 and this 2 we can cancel this minus minus will become plus so we are left with x upon what is minus of half minus 1 this is minus of 3 upon 2 and when it will come down so it will be what plus so 1 minus x square to the power 3 by 2 now put x is equal to cos y so cos y upon 1 minus cos square y to the power 3 upon 2 uh, so we know that 1 minus cos square is what sine square so sine x the whole square and on the power it is already going 3 by 2 so this 2 to 2 it will be cancelled you will get sine cube so cos y uh, sorry this will be y sine y so cos upon sine 1 it will be cot y and this sine square will be left when it will go up it will be cos x square y so this is the final answer you have you found the answer in terms of y alone like that okay okay let us come to this question if y is equal to x plus 10x then prove that cos square x d2y uh, dx square minus of 2y plus 2x is equal to 0 now what you have to see see this exercise is very 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 important because uh, maximum questions were asked from this exercise only and uh, such type of questions are only asked where you have to prove you are given with something and you have to prove so there can be like two or three ways where you can solve this question okay what one way we can uh, see that we need to prove this equation so what do we do we take LHS so for LHS what do we need d 2y dx square y we already have in x we solve it and we get the value as 0 so 0 equal to 0 satisfied hence proved this way we can do and what is one more way we'll solve okay in the coming time we'll solve uh, by different different techniques so that you can understand that like this also we can say solve so uh, this is uh, y equal to 
so let us differentiate what will be y dy by dx x is what 1 1 plus what is the differentiation of tan x sec x dot tan x so differentiation of tan x is uh, sorry sec square x so 1 plus sec square x then uh, again we need to differentiate this thing okay so what will be the second derivative this is d2 by dx square 1 will be what 0 sec square x what will be the differentiation of sec square x 2 sec x okay and sec x is sec x dot tan x okay then this will be uh, 2 sec square x tan x okay we got d2 by dx square okay let us put in our equation so uh, see what you were doing till now we were uh, i told you that you can put the uh, values here in taking by taking lhs and we'll get rhs and that is how we proved and this we have already seen we are seeing from the in the previous classes now what i'm doing let us build our lhs according to it see what I am trying to say that this is d2y dx square we already have. What is with d2y dx square? Cos square x. Let us multiply cos square x both the sides. Cos square x n cos square x. Okay. I think you have understood what I have done. We are trying to build this LHS here. Okay. So, see this sec square x and cos square x, what it will be, it will become 1. Okay. So, I am just rubbing it. I think you can understand this. Okay. There is no problem. Now, here, what we have minus of 2y. So, I am subtracting. See. I have multiplied cos square x both the sides and at this hand I got 2 tan x now minus of 2y so I am subtracting see I am doing all the things in the one step you have to write it in the other that, that means different different steps we are subtracting this multiplying this adding this like that okay so I am subtracting minus of 2y here so I need to subtract 2y here also but here I'm not writing y, I'm writing y equal to x plus 10x here, okay? So, x plus 10x. Now, if I multiply this 2 inside, so it will be 2 10x minus of 2x minus of 2 10x. See, this minus of 2 10x to minus of 2 10x is cancelled. We are left with what cos square x d2y dx square upon minus 2y is equal to minus of 2x. Now what do we need plus 2x? Add plus 2x both the sides. This is in the different step. Okay. See this minus 2x to plus 2x it is cancelled and we are left with what? 0. Okay. So this equation is equal to 0. Hence we proved. So this is one way of explain. Uh, this is one way of doing the question. This is one way of doing the proof which you haven't seen okay so you can go by this way also all right okay let us do this question if y is equal to a e a e to the power 2x plus b e to the power minus of x then prove that y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to 0 okay this is what y double dash only this is what y dash minus of 2y equal to 0 okay let us first differentiate this so y dash will be a into what is the differentiation of e to the power 2x this will be e to the power 2x only into 2 differentiation of 2x is what 2 plus b into e to the power minus x minus 1 differentiation of minus, uh, minus x will be minus 1 so this is what 2a e to the power 2x minus b e to the power minus x this is our y dash what will be y double dash again differentiate this one so 2 a e to the power 2 x into 2 minus b e to the power x minus 1 
so we got 4 a e to the power 2 x plus b e to the power minus x this is our y double dash okay now let us build our LHS here whatever I explained in the next step or else you can do one thing also take LHS you have y double dash value keep here you have y dash value keep here and you have y value cancel all these things you will get zero as an answer and by this method also you can do which I explained to you y double dash is here now what do we need minus of y so minus of y dash you do that means minus of y dash what is y dash here right okay this this is cancelled these two what is the addition of these two uh, this is a uh, 6a e to the power 2x now uh, just subtract two times of from this one okay and like that you will get the answer so solve this you have to solve this and show it to me okay okay let us come to this question uh, y is equal to tan inverse x we have to prove 1 plus x square into d2y dx square plus 2x dy dx is equal to 0 okay uh, this is y equal to given let us solve differentiating both the sides with respect to x so y will be dy dx tan inverse x will be what 1 upon 1 plus x square okay this is the first differentiation now again differentiate with respect to uh, d, uh, x that is d2y dx square equal to uh, c this can be written as 1 plus x square to the power minus 1 all right no problem what is the differentiation of this minus 1 1 plus x square to the power minus 1 minus 1 nx and minus 1 into 0 plus 2x inside the bracket we went 0 differentiation is uh, 1 differentiation is 0 x square is 2x okay minus 1 minus 1 will be what minus of 2 and it will come down this minus 1 and this 2x so minus 2x upon 1 plus x square the whole square this is our d2y dx square now with d2y dx square what we want 1 plus x square multiply 1 plus x square both the sides so 1 plus x square d2y dx square when you will multiply with this one you know 1 1 plus x square to 1 plus x square will be cancelled and you are left with only this understood I don't need to explain this simple things and plus of 2x dy dx directly you add it so plus of 2x what is our dy dx this is our dy dx so 1 upon 1 plus x square see this was our dy dx you know so I am writing minus of 2x upon 1 plus x square and plus of 2x upon 1 plus x square this whole will be cancelled and you are left with what zero hence proved okay so uh, that's it for this video that's it for this uh, today's session okay that means one more video i will make for uh, with the examples we will continue with the same topic in the next video also because this is somewhat long exercise okay so we need to understand some more questions so in the next video i will be uploading the questions only okay we will solve more and more questions and examples also okay so uh, according to your uh, this iac book up to 12th you can do from the book up to 12th question you can do and uh, examples also you can see okay uh, and try to practice more and more as i always say that practice makes the man perfect okay so you need to do practice more and more and i don't think that you should find any difficulty or challenge in solving this exercise because we need to double differentiate it all the things will be same okay and believe me this is very easy exercise you can do it but still i'll make one more video for the same okay and uh, show me the homework every day all of you please okay thank you so much